Good afternoon guys. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for my previous two video. Within 24 hours, most of you liked it and I have 100 views. Thanks for that. Now I come for my chicken lovers, those who like chicken. So I'm going to show you a chicken biryani today, which is a non-spicy chicken biryani. Means, uh, most of the time my kids say they like biryani, but it's too spicy for them to eat. So I came up with some crazy idea of a non-spicy chicken biryani. So what we have to do for that first, I'll show you. We have to boil the chicken a bit just for one whistle. Why you have to boil it for one whistle? So you get the soup out. Most of us do a small mistake when we make biryani, when we make chicken biryani. We straight away start frying the chicken because it's too easy to cook. But uh, you need to boil the chicken to get out the juiciness out of the chicken so you get that soup. So in that soup, the biryani will have a little more better taste. So I boil the chicken with tomato, onions and coriander, little bit salt and saffron. The saffron just to take out that uh, flavor out from the chicken. So after boiling, I need to double the water. This is the soup after I boiled it. You can see. And uh, I use this mug for the rice. So whatever rice we are using, if I use three cups, I need to use six cups of water. So there was already two cups of soup. So I added another four cups of water. So this is the water, the soup, the biryani. Uh, show you what all we need. We need green chilies, Indian spice, and onions. Ginger garlic paste, green peas a bit, little bit ghee, and oil, what we need. So first, uh, as we pour the oil, we get hot. You will be asking why you need green chilies, uh, since it's a non-spicy biryani. But what did I do? Oh, I'm going to cut that. I'm not going to slip the green chili. I'm just going to give it a small poke so that it doesn't burst. See, a small poke. So those of you, the adults when you're eating, you can serve the biryani with the chili and it serve the, for the children the plain rice. It will be very tasty. So now once we have to fry the masala now. The ghee, we'll put it after some time. Now you can see the oil is hot. Little bit bay leaves, cinnamon, clove, and cardamom. Just drop it in. When you see it's yeah, starting to dump, throw the onions in. And the side you just throw the green chilies or you get roasted with it. Come see. Yeah, can you see the chilies are separate, everything is separate. Now, let's just fry a little bit, give it a small toss. Soft and soft. Now you can pour the ghee on top of the onions, so it will get a nice brown texture. To try this biryani, so your children will love it. You can tell them it's biryani, non spicy, they'll really like it. But you'll have all the flavor of the biryani. That's why we're taking the soup out from the chicken. Little bit green peas I got just for the kids to love it. Ginger garlic paste, most of you use ready made, but I tell you, you'll buy the ginger and garlic, grind it freshly, you get the real flavor out of it, nice aroma out of it. So, even when you're frying it, you will get the aroma also. Just And my previous video, what I told you also, with that chicken, uh, the beef stew, what we made, you can even try it with uh, mutton also, mutton legs. You will get, you can say it's a mutton paya stew. So a little bit of Indian culture mixed in it. You try it, better try everything. Now you can see the uh, onions getting golden brown. Don't let it get burnt. You see this texture. This texture is more than enough. Little bit brownish color you can see. 
So then you can drop the ginger garlic paste so it will both get roasted. It has a nice lovely smell. Freshly ground ginger garlic. Not only for your biryanis, anything you use. You can grind it and keep it in the fridge. If you guys have a fridge, grind it and keep it out. Monthly once also you can use it. Instead of buying from outside, it's better you grind your own ginger garlic. As your ginger garlic is frying, let the aroma of the ginger garlic go out fully and then you can just fry your uh, chicken a little bit so you get that toughness in it. you make this uh, biryani for your children especially uh, because most of the time if any kids birthday or anything we say it's their birthday and we make the biryani and we enjoy it ourselves more than the kids they just enjoy the cake so if any of your kids birthday please make this biryani let them also enjoy their birthday food Don't add any color, nothing to it, because uh, you know the mentality of the kids. If they see any color or something, they say no, it's chili powder and it's spicy. So the better, the lesser masala, the lesser color you use. If the rice, uh, rice is shown white, they will think it's uh, ghee rice, so they will eat it. Now we are just uh, dropping in the green peas and let it boil. The rice I already washed it twice. Now remember how much of rice you are taking. If you are taking three cups, make sure the same cup with double the amount of water. That is six. So I took three. So I am eating. So it's bubbling nicely now. The barbecue biryani. What I did. I boiled the rice separately, strained it and I put it because that is basmati but this is our normal rice, bullet rice so then we just give it a mix slow heat you put something heavy like the stone on top you can get some water just drop it on top so that you have heat from both the sides and it cooks well now I can hear a little bit bubbling sound so what I do I lower the heat let it cook on low heat Staying around 15 minutes, it should be done. So let's check it after 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes is done now. Let's check. Right, you can see now. You just give it a small mix. So it has to get dry. The biryani smell is there. Give it a small mix. So I'll leave it for another 10 minutes. 